Hi, my name is Mark Jackson. I have been diagnosed with ALS. I received the Synchron Stentrode BCI implant in August of 2023. Whatever time I have left, I wanted to be able to use it to help further technology, to help further understanding. Yeah, it's been pretty phenomenal. It's people like Mark who inspire us at Synchron to make not only brain computer interfaces, but all technology be smarter, more accessible, and intuitively usable. Hi, my name is Peter Yu. I'm the Senior Director of Neuroscience and Algorithms at Synchron. Synchron's vision is for brain computer interfaces to become ubiquitous like the keyboard and the mouse. My name is Kurt Hackstrom. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer here at Synchron. Synchron is a medical technology company that's developing a minimally invasive brain computer interface. We're making history as the first BCI company to be compatible and adopt Apple's BCI HID approach. All technology today relies on some kind of motor function, but due to disease, whether it's ALS or whether it's trauma, such as spinal cord injury, um, you lose that bodily function. So BCI stands for Brain Computer Interface. And Brain Computer Interface is a technology that allows us to translate your will to move into digital actions. So people like Mark, he can't move his hands but he can still think about doing those movements. That means his brain is still sending those signals down to his body. So using brain computer interfaces, you can capture that signal, then we can translate it through a machine learning model into a digital device control. Mark is part of our first FDA approved trial. He received his Stentrode in 2023. This allows you to connect to an iPhone, an iPad, or even a smart environment, giving people like Mark autonomy and independence back. This is Synchron's BCI called the Stentrode, and it looks much like a, a normal stent, but it actually is a, a circuit board on the surface. So this Stentrode navigates up into the superior sagittal sinus, was actually the main vein that goes over the motor cortex. This is the electrode array that collects the intent to move. This means we can record high quality brain signals without needing to perform open brain surgery. A key factor to making technology accessible and easy to use is a human interface device standard, or HID. It's simply a shared language between computers and input devices for them to talk to each other very easily. Just think about when an A key gets pressed on a keyboard. HID is the way that message gets interpreted. It's just a way for keyboards, mice, game controllers and whatever other input devices to talk to computers very easily. Now, every OS ships with a generic HID driver, meaning that every manufacturer can speak the common language and directly interface with the computer. Similarly, we made an HID for brain computer interfaces. We call it BCI HID. This allows all BCIs to talk to computers. Just like how keyboards and mice can talk to any devices using HID, so can BCIs now through BCI HID. And it works over Bluetooth. Without requiring any physical movements, which is perfect for people with paralysis. BCI head practically allows you to provide more feedback about their neural activity, gives them more options and context between the devices. It means that both systems understand more about each other, meaning that we can improve the performance of the BCI control as well as digital device control. Mark is the first person in the world to control an iPad through BCI HID. This means Mark himself can control many of the functions that require someone else just by thinking. Nobody has to set up the system, no caregiver has to come over. Uh, they essentially just, uh, the person just thinks and it turns on. So switch control is Apple's accessibility function. It allows people with less control to be able to navigate through their iOS environment seamlessly. BCI HID also allows you to connect the brain signals directly to shortcuts. And what this means is that our users can simply assign a particular movement to a special function, like to return home or send someone a message or open up an email. It's simply a single thought away. So now Mark is thinking, tap his index finger, and this is a shortcut right to the home screen of the Apple iPad. Another really unique thing about the BCI HID is it almost creates the ultimate privacy. So it's only you, it's only your neural signals that are actually connecting to the computer itself. So no one else can interfere with that. Through BCI HID, we can provide feedback of his neural activity directly. So then he can control things more intuitively and more actively. The feedback is given through a visual cue. Here's an example. Once switch control is activated, Mark can more easily navigate his device. When he lands on an app or a button that he would like to select, he'll see the strength of his neural signal represented by the color 
that's surrounding the box. The stronger the signal is, the more the box fills up. So at all times, Mark can see the strength of his neural activity going up and down. And this is going to be critical for people um, that have an implantable brain computer interface to understand that this is where they're trying to think and allows them to focus on that specific item. Being able to connect directly to the switch control functionality with this new BCI HID is really a game changer uh, when it comes to accessibility. Now this also means huge benefits for the industry. Apple in releasing this BCI HID is showing the world their commitment to BCI as an accessibility device. Many devices that all of us use now also become readily accessible to paralyzed individuals. In the future, so long as you can control a BCI, that means you can control any digital device. Now this is a big step towards the future where brain-computer interfaces become ubiquitous for digital device control. It means it opens up the ecosystem, it means more options for our users, and the usability skyrockets from this point on. So this release is a massive milestone for not just Synchron and patients like Mark, for the BCI industry in its entirety. There's people now interacting with the computer in a whole new way.